Um, in this practice, we are lying down, and I will try as best as I can to explain everything really clearly um, so that you don't have to look at the screen to stretch your neck in any weird way. So um, this is a lying yoga practice. So just firstly come to lie all the way down in a really comfortable position. So you might want to bring your arm slightly away from the body and your legs a little bit apart, maybe the feet falling out to the sides. If this isn't comfortable with your legs out long, you can put your soles of the feet flat and let the knees draw in towards each other. This will again let the legs relax but support the lower back. So either legs out long and relaxed or knees up and kind of in towards each other. Just allow your body to relax into the floor. And focus on your breathing. Take a long, smooth, slow, deep breath in through your nose, letting the ribs rise, the abdomen, and then long, slow exhale as the chest falls back towards the floor. So continue these long, slow breaths, allowing the torso to expand and then fall as you bring your awareness to how you feel today. Thinking about all the parts of your body, allowing any tension to relax, switching off the active mind and just focusing on your breathing and some gentle movement. So we're going to start with just some neck rolls. So I just would like you to just look over one shoulder gently, slowly. And then carefully, slowly come up to the middle and look over the other shoulder. Maybe just stay there for a little while. And if you want to, you can do this with the breath. So inhale, brings your face up to the ceiling and exhaling, looking over toward the side. Anywhere that just feels good, massaging the back of the head on the floor. Inhale to middle. Exhale over the other side and then inhale to the middle. And then next, just want you to leave your elbows on the floor but lift your hands up towards the sky and clasp your fingers into your palms and just do some wrist rolls to keep the breath flowing steadily in and out as we just warm up wrists and forearms and then you might make some circles with your elbows now just gently your hands going round almost like plane propellers by your sides somewhere whatever feels nice for your arms and then inhale stretch the arms all the way up towards the sky Reach with your fingers and wiggle them and then exhale, let the arms slowly fall back down to the ground, palms down. We're just going to bring up the right knee next and if you want to, you, you can hold on to the right thigh or shin or calf, anywhere. Um, the left leg now, if it was up, is going to stretch out long and you're just going to 
rotate your right ankle so you can hold on to the leg and the right ankle goes round one way and the other way a few times keep the breath going in and the rest of your body relaxed if you can just the right leg working and then just like we tried to we're going to try and make some circles with the knee so you can hold on to the knee just with the right hand if that's easier circling one way into the knee and the hip on the right side should feel quite nice keep breathing and then let the right foot go back to the floor and slide the leg out long notice the difference between right and left and then we'll just repeat everything on the left side so slide the right knee up the foot comes in hold on to the thigh somewhere comfortable and rotate the left ankle some gentle circles with your foot in one way and back the other way you can keep your eyes closed and try to relax your arms and everywhere else and then holding on to your left knee with your left hand just some circles only go as far as feels nice for you your arm, arm helping make some circles with your left knee in one way and the other way waking up the left hip as well as the knee keep breathing softly smoothly and then slide that left leg out long away from you depending on if you've got space we're going to do some snow angels um, if you can now so you're just going to inhale the arms go out to the sides and all the way up overhead and then exhale they come down it could be all the way up just as much as you've got space inhale arms go up exhale they come down and if you want to true snow angels you bring in the legs so inhale arms go up legs go away from each other still sliding along the floor exhale imagine you've got sand or snow against or under you and then you're moving against those as you slide arms and slide legs and relax. We're next just going to stretch the sides of the body in banana pose. So you are going to reach your hands above your head, relax them down somewhere on the floor above your head. We're going to tilt our both hands and both feet over to the left. Okay, so they're still everything's making contact with the floor, but we might just move our shoulders over to the left so hands and feet moving to the left but our right hip stretching out towards the right feeling a nice stretch across the right side of the body and taking a deep breath into that right side if you want to you can hold on to your right wrist with your left hand and stretch, help it pull the right arm a little more. And if you want to, you can put your right ankle over your left ankle, and that stretches the leg, the right outer side of the leg and hip a bit more. Keep breathing here, gently. This is banana pose, or kind of like a half moon crescent moon on your side on your back and then let go if you had hold move your body back to center 
and then shoulders and arms slide over a little bit towards the right. Your feet go over towards the right and you breathe into a side stretch across to the left side of your torso and shoulder. Again, optional extras on this side. Hold on to the right, left wrist with the right hand and gently help that stretch intensify a bit if you'd like. And to make it into the left leg, just cross the left ankle over the right one. This kind of banana pose or a crescent moon lying on with the left side being stretched. Keep breathing in. Feel the oxygen spread to the muscles that are stretching. And then as you breathe out, let go of anything you had whole. And bring your arms down by your sides. Everything comes back center. I want you to place your feet flat on the floor just behind your hips. So your knees are hip width apart, going straight up towards the ceiling. And I want you to place your palms on your thighs. And you're going to breathe in, stay where you are. And then breathe out, just crunch, your hands slide up your, towards your knees and you crunch your head up a little. Exhale, lower, inhale, lower, sorry, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Now this might be a tiny, small amount. We're just curling the spine and then inhaling, lowering. Exhale, curl the spine, the hands slide up towards the knees. Exhale, lower. One last time, In exhale, sorry, exhale, lift, crunch. Inhale, lower. The shoulders and head back down and then relax. And then we're next just going to kind of move the spine the opposite way by lifting the hips. So press the palms flat into the floor, the arms alongside your body, feet nice and pressed down into the floor. And then as you breathe in, you're going to lift your hips, curl the tailbone up. And then exhale, lower the spine and then the hips back to the floor. So this is bridge pose, but quite a quick flowing bridge. Inhaling, lifting, flexing the spine the other way, exhaling, lowering, just moving with your breath. Inhale, press into the feet, lift the hips. Exhale, lower. One last time. And this one we're going to hold for a bit longer. Inhale, lift. Imagine your knees pointing away from you, the wall opposite. Keep pressing into the back of the shoulders, lifting the hips. Take one more breath in and then on your next exhale, gently lower slowly if you can. Good control of body all the way back down. And then relax that feet slightly away, slide them back long and just notice how you feel, what you've done already so far is good for you. We're next going to roll over onto our left side. So you could just slide the hips over to the right, bend the right knee um, and roll onto your side. If you have a pillow, a bolster, a block, you could put it under your head like so. Or you can use your left forearm of upper arm as a pillow under um, under your head, on the left side of your head. 
So we're just going to do some side stretches here. The first one is for our shoulders. So I want you to slide your right hand out in front of you, your arm kind of going away from you. And we're just going to move with the breath. So inhale, lift the shoulder arm all the way up, maybe up to the ceiling and follow it with your gaze and then exhale lower. So this is just a gentle shoulder, shoulder opening, inhaling, lifting. Your hips and the lower body staying the same, facing to the left, exhale lower. And then this time you might go quite a long way over. Inhale, you're just stretching the arm. So the body is trying to stay facing the left, but you're just stretching out the right shoulder, the right chest. Keep breathing as the gravity works on that arm in that position. It should feel quite nice. Take an inhale and then exhale to bring that arm all the way back to the floor in front of you. We're then going to bend the right knee. Um, you might want to bend the left knee a bit. So we are actually going to lift the right knee up towards the ceiling. So if you bend your left knee too, you've got like a firmer base under you to work with. And we're just going to do some side crunches so can you bring your right elbow towards your right knee see how that feels and then if you want to we can move with this so we're going to inhale kick the foot away reach the arm up and forward above so long left right side exhale knee to elbow it can be towards so this can be a, just a gentle side movement. Doesn't have to be touching or reaching all the way out. We're just inhaling, lengthening the right side, exhaling, side crunch of some description. Once more, inhale, all the way, stretching out. And then relax the arm and the leg back down on your side. And just give uh, yourself a rest. Quite strong movement all on the right side. And then we're going to repeat everything on the left hand side. So carefully, slowly back onto your back, roll over. And then you might just want to yeah, adjust yourself, roll over onto the right side. Again, set up with your legs together this time legs quite straight left arm like a pillow sorry right arm like a pillow under the right side of your head and then your left arm is going to slide away from you out long try and stack your hips and your knees and ankles together and your shoulders and it does take a little bit of balance on this side Breathe out and then breathe in. Open the left arm up to the sky, almost like a wing opening and then exhaling, closing arm back towards the floor. Inhale, open, maybe stretch a little bit further. Exhale, gently release the arm back down to the right side. Inhale, left arm opens up. And then this time you might just want it to fall back a little bit. Okay, so your left arm, left shoulder stretching slightly back, trying to keep the hips and body facing forward. Just the weight of the arm, stretching the shoulder gently. Keep breathing. One more nice inhale, and then on your next exhale, lower the right left arm all the way back down to the floor in front of your chest. And then we'll just do this elbow knee crunches like we did on the other side. So bend the right knee, give yourself a nice platform to be lying on. Uh, bring 
left elbow towards left knee. And then we'll flow and move if you like. Inhale, stretch the fingers away above you, leg away. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhaling, lengthening, stretch, exhale, crunch on the left side. Inhale, one big stretch. Exhale, last crunch. Inhale, stretch. And then lower the hand back to the side, the leg to the floor. And roll back onto and central position. Just as we started with hand, um, yeah, the shoulders and the hips making a nice rectangle under your back. And we'll just bring a full body stretch. So slide your arms up above your head, however you can. Stretch your toes away from you, your fingers away from you. You might just want to wriggle them. A long move after all of those side crunching and then slide the arms back down by your sides. We're going to do a leg stretch next called Pigeon Pose. So this is again like in bridge feet position. So soles of the feet flat, hip widths apart, and uh, heels behind your hips. And we're just going to bring the right ankle over the left knee. You might want to slide your left foot away from you. And this will bring a stretch into your right thigh and hip. Uh, if this is enough for you, you can stay where you are. Or you can lift the left foot up off the floor. Keep the feet bent back okay so active feet with the toes pointing towards the knees and you can grab between uh, behind your left thigh this is pigeon pose it's quite strong you can just leave the left foot flat on the floor or leaving it raised and we're trying to bring our left knee uh, using the left knee to bring the right foot closer towards you so only go as far as you feel comfortable. Keep breathing, relaxing shoulders, jaw, and then let go if you had hold of that left leg. We're then just gonna bring the arms out to the sides and, and take the left leg with the right ankle attached to it over towards the left. Now it should just relax over towards the left. It's a little bit of a side stretch. If this is uncomfortable with your right leg in this position, you can just bring the knees together. This is our supine twist, a relaxing pose. So knees and legs are going over to the left, right shoulder making contact with the ground. And if you want to, you can look over to the right towards your right hand in a supine twist. Just breathe and enjoy this stretch really good for the digestive system. More twisting poses. And then carefully look up to center as you bring your knees, legs back up to center. If you had your ankle over the knee, right ankle just goes back to the floor. And we'll repeat on the other side. So knees facing up to the sky, left ankle over right knee, kind of making a figure four shape with your left leg. Toes point back towards the knees. And then if you want to, you can bring, lift your right foot, up almost like the shins parallel to the sky or ceiling and 
optional extra grab behind the right thigh. Pulling in with your right knee, helping to stretch your left hip in pigeon pose. Quite an intense leg stretch. Relax shoulders, jaw. Keep breathing. And then if you had hold of the right thigh, let go. Right foot replaces back to the floor. Arms go out to the sides. And then gently, slowly take your legs over to the right. So this can be with the left ankle on top, if that feels good to you. Or you can bring the knees together, so both knees are going over to the right. Your left shoulder is nicely planted on the floor if you can. Just adjust yourself so that you can maybe look out over the left arm. And take some deep breaths into the abdomen. Always good to twist right first and then left second. This is really good for your yep, lower intestines. Using the breath to help your digestion, even just when you're twisting, taking a deep breath all the way down and trying to relax as you breathe out. And then slowly, gently coming back up with both knees to center your gaze looks back up to the sky. And after twisting a nice pose to uh, yeah, get ourselves back center again, we're going to try fish pose. So our legs slide out long away from us. I want you to place the palms face down and then slide your hands under your hips. Okay, so we're making a kind of fish pose. You can point your toes towards each other and away from you. And then inhale, puff up your chest and lift your shoulder blades off the floor. So you're pressing into your forearms. You're gently breathing into the chest, the opening of your shoulders and the heart and the lungs. Should feel really nice. Your hands might be tingling. If you can, try to relax them. You're just resting on the top of the head or the back head. One last deep breath in, expand, puff up the chest and then exhale, slide the head back, the chest comes back down, shoulders to the floor, slide the hands from out under you and then the arms come away from you with the palms face up and they might be tingling after your fish pose. Allow the legs to relax, maybe the feet again. Just tip out gently to the sides. And we'll find the final pose, uh, Shavasana, which is called resting pose. Allowing your whole body to feel firmly supported by the floor beneath you. Your breath just to come in 
and go out gently. And just some moments to check through your body, relaxing any tension. We'll think first of all of the feet, the ankles, calves, knees, thighs, and hips. Focusing your thoughts on relaxing all of the muscles and tendons. Breathing in and then breathing out to let go of any tension so that both legs feel very heavy and relaxed. And then we'll think through fingers, palms, wrists, forearms elbows, upper arms, and shoulders. Breathing in energy, oxygen, and then breathing out tension. Allowing your arms to fully relax and almost feel like they may be sinking in to the floor beneath you. Next, think up through your spine, allowing any tension all the way up from the lower back, middle back, upper back, into your neck, just fully relax, just the front of your torso feeling light as it lifts and falls with your breath. Relax your jaw and tongue, your cheeks and eyes. Think a smooth, gently relaxed forehead. No tension, your whole face, and your whole body sinking into the floor as you relax. And if you have time, you can stop in this pose as long as you can, letting the benefits of the practice be absorbed by all of the tissues in your body. Or if you need to finish your practice, then just deepen your breath, take a slow, long breath in. Allow the oxygen to send energy to your fingers and toes by gently wiggling them. And then another big brief breath in. Energizing all of your cells in your body, allowing your arms and legs to stretch in any way that feels good for you. And then take a big yawn, arm stretch above the head, whatever you'd like to do to wake yourself up. Maybe bring knees to chest and rock them side to side. Waking up the legs, waking up the back, the arms. And then slowly make your way up to seated and on with the rest of your day.
Thank you for practicing with me today. Be mindful how you think, how you speak, how you feel, and how you act.